on a gorgeous day out here in Wares Valley, just outside of Pigeon Forge. Papa and Grammy are raging for some Cajun and we're crazy for Creole. Where do you find that in the Smokies? Who that you say? We can tell you because this is Pawpaw's Catfish Kitchen, Nolan's Cuisine. Pawpaws is located at 2760 Wares Valley Road, right here in Sevierville. Pawpaws is currently open from 11 to 8 Wednesday through Saturday. You can also check their Facebook site. And of course, do not feed the gators. You're here to eat the gators. The outside of Pawpaws is very casual and welcoming. And there is an outdoor seating area with some picnic tables and umbrellas that you can hang out outside. They don't feed the gators, but today they're gonna feed the Vols. Ladies first. Let's go. On the right, when you enter Pawpaws, you will see the hostess stand here. And they've got lots of uh, tchotchkes and souvenirs that you can purchase from New Orleans. And you can see the kitchen back there. And then the dining area is very casual and laid back. They've got some booths, some table setups. There are two dining areas. There's one in the front here, and then this is the one in the back. Uh, lots of New Orleans and Louisiana memorabilia. And then this is the Papa's Memorial Pirogue, where they have uh, loved ones and folks that they're trying to honor inside this carved boat. And we were so thankful to meet this wonderful family while we were dining. So I was excited to try the shrimp and corn soup, which is really more like a shrimp and corn chowder. As you can see, it's a creamy base soup. All right, I've got the shrimp and crab soup, which is definitely a shrimp and corn soup. Yeah, shrimp and corn soup. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got crab on the brain. Definitely, and there's no crab here. <laughs> this is funny. No crabby attitudes either. Isn't That's that right. There's a says? sign over there, so there's no crabby attitudes. That's right. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hmm. It's hot, but <laughs> it is getting a spoonful, guys. Well, when you say hot, is it just temperature? Or? Temperature. Okay. Um, okay, so think about your mamas or your grandmas. Tater soup. Yeah. Add shrimp and corn. Yes. Really fresh shrimp. Okay. And that's what you got right there. And that's what you got. It's comforting and delicious. I think Emily would love it. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So we're getting the sample plate, which has boudin balls, uh, fish nuggets, gator bites. They were out of crab cake. That normally comes with the crab cake. So they gave us extra boudin. Super excited to try this. I'm going to try a little bit of everything here. The darker. This is gator bites with a house-made remoulade sauce. Excited about that? So you're eating gator. Eat your heart out, Floridians. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. That is good. Look at the fish. That's the catfish. Catfish bites. I'm going to break that in half. I'm gonna try I'm the house try made their tartar sauce. You're not really a saucy person, so I'm surprised you're eating sent any kind of sauce. Ooh, wow. The catfish is the bomb. You're gonna love that. Any gaming any gaminess to it not whatsoever? Not at all. Very nice. It's flaky and meaty and it's just perfect. Boudin balls, look at this. So that is rice and pork. 
and breading and spices. Yes. And they, they roll it into a ball and fry it. That's right. So, I say it's a sausage ball. I would be thrown out of Nolan's if I said that. <laughs> it is not a sausage ball, but it has sausage in it. So, It's perfect. It's not. First of all, the texture, the texture of it. I don't know if you can see that or not. The texture of the meat. Look at that. Very fine. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And Rebecca was right. Everything good with that remoulade. <laughs> is, is, is the remoulade spicy? Not bad. Not bad at all. I might have to try it. It has just a bit of a kick, but it's just right. It's a very good sauce. All right. So, we're batting a thousand so far. Awesome. All right. So, tell us how to eat a crawfish. All right. All right. Rip his little head off. Just, these are hot. Just peel back that first layer of shell, and then I'll let you do this. So you're gonna hold the meat with your teeth yeah. like you've been doing and squeeze the tail. Squeeze the tail. So we're gone. Put it in your mouth. Nope, nope, you did it wrong. I you did gotta wrong. squeeze the bottom of the tail. Oh. You can put that back in your mouth. It's still got all that meat in it. It's kinda like suck it out. <laughs> no, you when you squeeze the tail, it slides out. Oh I got you. Okay. I got you. So there's these, a learning curve. Yes. These claws you can actually eat, okay? Because mm -hmm. these have a lot of meat. You talk about juice. Try that. Look at that. Then I'm gonna do this one. You gotta suck it. <laughs> you get all the juice out. That's amazing. This is soft, so you can actually break it. Oh yeah. wow! So it's not like hard like a lobster shell. Eat the meat. That one's yours. Oh, Let's that see that if we learned anything. Awesome. See if I learned anything. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I'm hey, feeding this man. <laughs> This is service. This is what we call service at Popeyes. Okay. And we did it. These are soft shell. You can eat that meat, but these two are good. These are gonna be the bomb. You gotta eat those. Gotta eat those. You gotta eat those. All right. Now, you think you can peel one? Let me let you peel this. I'm gonna peel this. Okay. Pull the head off. See you soon. Pull the head off. You know how long it's been since I've done this. My goodness. I'm I've like never I've never done it, but I'm I'm okay, sure I'll hold, get it. Hold, hold the tail. Yeah. Rip his head off. Like <laughs> she's violent over there. Yeah, Rip his head off. Right here. Yes. So, off. so how often do you do the crawfish? Um, right now this is our first boil. For the we, we brought back 344 pounds. Oh, so wow. We probably might do them again in two or three weeks. Okay. okay. It's just, price, yeah, just check the in. Price just started coming down. Three weeks ago, it was $11 a pound for live crawfish in Louisiana. Oh, so wow. So you guys literally go down and we get it. We just went down and got 344 pounds. There wow. We there we go. There's there you go. Did All you right. get it? Now, so now put bottom. the meat in your teeth, hold it, and squeeze, then squeeze at that tail. Squeeze the tail. A little bit hard. There oh, you go. Oh, you got it. Hey, Look at that. You got it. You got it. Look at that. You got your claws. <laughs> and now you got to let her do it. Thank you. Love. Here's some more big claws. All right. So I think it's my turn to try. Crawfish. Little crawfish. Hello. Smoking Mountain Bay Food and Fun Friends. You're so funny. All right. That thing's so, already been boiled. Look at that. She <laughs> said, Rebecca's put them on you too. She's, she's going to watch you. All right. So she's going to watch you. I got to rip his head off, right? Like this? Rip yep. his head Pull off. Pull his tail tight. Pull like, his head off. There you go. Okay, good deal. She did better than I did. Okay. You got to peel back the top layer. I'm going to take that yeah. leg off. All of this right here, you want to peel back? Yeah. Oh, first layer. Here. Where? Peel off the first layer on there. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotcha. So you got to work for your supper when you're eating crawfish. <laughs> You'll sing for that supper once you try that. <laughs> I, the, the more you eat, I've, the cracked, you get. I've cracked a few crabs in my life. That's so. different though. Crawfish is it different. Is a little bit. Ooh, look at that meat. Yeah. No. Oh, that's it? Okay. You ain't got to go that far. Okay. 
All right. Hold a meat with your teeth. And grab the bottom and inside the tail. Inside the tail. No, look. Let me, let me. Yeah. Squeeze that tip. No. You did it. Oh, she did so good. First try, guys. <laughs> and Rebecca gave you the tutorial. I love it. <laughs> All right, so that is kind of like a game ear lobster. Yes, but what do you think of that? And the Creole Cajun seasoning that they're using gives you a little bit of spice, a little bit of a punch in your mouth. Yeah. It's got that saltiness. Yes, I like um, that. I like it. And, and look, you know, I'm only recently a lobster person in the last few years. But look there, there's, there's celery and garlic in there too. Aren't they cute? <laughs> and the celery and garlic, Rebecca said we could eat that too because it's got that it's been boiled with right the and then the, you know all these little claws so all right so we're gonna have a good time with uh little little crawfish here yes look at i'm i'm excited <laughs> i have the catfish orleans which is served with a that's fried catfish you can get it fried or grilled i decided to get it fried because that is their specialty here that's a creole cream sauce so it's not very spicy. There's Creole, uh, the cream sauce. It comes over rice or pasta. I did the rice and six grilled yeah. shrimp as well. Did you finish them? It, that looks incredible. I know it's going to be incredible. I just want to start with the basic potato salad, which I'm kind of curious if it's basic or it not. It looks like a basic potato salad. But we're finding that basic things here are very good so far. It is your standard potato salad, but it's just the way I like it, so it's good. Mustard base. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to try some rice with the Creole sauce first. I can't even tell you how good that looks. I almost got that, but then it was the muffaletta. Okay, that sauce is amazing. Mm. Nice to meet you too. Ooh, the shrimp is done perfectly. The sauce tastes like what? Well, okay, so I'm, I've got the cream sauce on here. The catfish just melts in your mouth. And it's so good. It looks like a heavy breading, but it's really not. It's very light. And it's just so good. The shrimp. Here's what I love about this shrimp. You can tell that this is fresh. And I love it because it's while it's grilled, it's not overdone. Yeah, that's how I felt about the shrimp in the soup. It's very fresh. Yeah, and it's not overdone. Yeah. It's, I guess that's what I'm saying. It's done just perfectly. So we've not had anything bad here at all. It's amazing. Okay, let's, let's get into this mafaletta that I'm Absolutely. amazed by. All right, so of course, the majority of that's going home, but this is the New Orleans mafaletta. That's the whole. So uh, it's served on a large Italian bun. There's salami, ham, mozzarella, provolone, and then it has that gorgeous olive salad, and then it's baked. Look at that. The smell of that bread. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, as, it's as big as my face, guys. It really is. Or my head. Maybe bigger. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a mafaletta of ginormous proportions like this. And can I just tell you? Show me the inside of that. The bread just smells like absolute oh, heaven. Look at that. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Why have we not been here before? I don't know. I've been here before. I just, like I said, I wasn't here with you. But this is an incredible sandwich. Oh. The meats, the cheeses, that olive um, relish or whatever you want to call it. Olive salad. Olive salad that's on the top is awesome. I've I've made muffalettas before at home. Not anything um, like that. I can't say I've ever had one out because there's not very many places to get them. Yeah. 
This is the stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. So fresh and delicious. The cheese, the salami, the ham. It's just like party in your mouth sandwich. Okay. So after three to go boxes, <laughs> because the muffletta does not fit in yeah, the box. Yeah, we need another box. Um, that thing is huge, just saying. All what right. What we have here? This is the vanilla bread pudding. White chocolate bread White pudding. chocolate vanilla bread pudding. And... This is the house ooh. specialty dessert. You can see the inside. It's got that yes. spongy bread pudding look to it. Yes. Spongy is good because it soaks up the sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh you, my goodness. What do you think all right, so that? First of all, it is warm and comforting. <laughs> the, the bread pudding itself is soft and warm and everything that a bread pudding should be. Yes. And this white chocolate sauce. Oh yeah. It's that just, just good. Oh, it's decadent. And you get a very good sized portion with it. So, yeah, you're going to like this too. <laughs> how, many spoon oh. Oh, how many spoon twirl does it get? That's a winner winner. Bread Cat pudding. Catfish dinner. Dessert dinner. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. I can't wait for final thoughts. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that is my final thoughts. Uh, seriously. I'm not sure why I've not been here before. Brooks has apparently been here years ago. And wow, everything, just absolutely everything was wonderful. Everything was wonderful. <laughs> that muffaletta is humongous. Humongous. I had no idea it was literally humongous. You could feed four people easily with that, maybe more. Yeah. Uh, if you get some sides. So and they are using Gambino's bread yes, from New Orleans. Gambino's bread from New Orleans. Yeah. And, uh, man, just let the good times roll. Boil. Let yeah. the good times boil. Or let the good times roll. I have never peeled a crawfish before, and I apparently do it very well. This you first do. timer. It's delicious. A little gamier than lobster, but if you like lobster, you would like crawfish. Um, the soup, the crab and shrimp. I keep shrimp saying crab. Corn. Shrimp and corn shrimp soup. And corn. Um was very good. It was very um, comforting. Comforting soup. Delicious. And what else? The sampler. Yes. Everything was great. I have never had a um, boudin, boudin ball before. That was very good too. So the catfish, not gamey, just delicious. Very light. Their breading is spot on. Perfect. Brooks's meal. He'll tell you about it, but wow. <laughs> so good and that white chocolate red pudding red pudding yeah good heavens good heavens <laughs> <laughs> i don't have a spoon but you get the idea it was wonderful crawfish twirl uh yeah so yeah <laughs> come to papa's we're not gonna be disappointed and i will let brooks close us out so that you all can let the good times roll well who that's hot is right <laughs> because everything here at Pawpaw's was amazing. Uh, Rebecca showing us the ropes with the crawfish. Thank you to her for that. And uh, thank you for being so generous to us today. This was a great, great meal. So from the sample plate, the boudin was amazing. Love boudin. That's definitely something different. You will love it. If you like sausage, if you like just sausage, you'll like boudin. The remoulade tartar sauce, homemade here, which is outstanding. Uh, the gator, not too gamey as Christy said, it's really good. And me as a Tennessee fan, I love eating me some gator. That's usually what we do in September, but I don't know. Now we can come do it anytime. So we may have to do that. The uh, catfish, the fried catfish, 
is what you come here for. Uh, there are other places in the Smokies that people love to get catfish. Don't waste your time. Paw Paws is your place for catfish in the Smokies. I'm telling you that. And that's just the truth. The white chocolate bread pudding. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, and we keep saying this, we keep finding great desserts. But let me tell you what. That right there is the best dessert in the Smokies thus far on our travels. That's been it. And I'm not saying, just saying that. It is phenomenal it's amazing Ooh, who that it's so good so what i love the most about crawfish crawfish takes me back to the college days we used to get together with a bunch of lsu fans tailgate down in knoxville they would come up from baton rouge and they would bring these whole big pots they would do crawfish boils out there and they were so much fun to hang out with it was always a great time so enjoyed that and it just kind of took me back to that time. And they're doing it right here. The spices on that crawfish and the garlic and celery, you could even eat that. So there's nothing bad here. There's nothing you're not gonna like, I gotta tell you that. But if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Do us a favor and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We would love to have you along for the ride. And of course, make sure school's in hit that ringy dingy make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you know every time that we've got new content posted but for now she's christy i'm brooks we just want to say god bless you we love you and we can't wait to show you what's next have a good day y'all let the good times roll yes as always we save the menu for last so as not to take up important time when you just want to see the food if you want to pause or freeze the screen to look closer, feel free to do that. Mm -hmm.